Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating a diagonal line pattern in Photoshop 2021. The reason for this is twofold. Firstly, Adobe removed the pixel option from the line tool, so we have to find a different way of operating. And secondly, in the process, they went and broke the line tool as well. So we've got sort of two things to look at right now. So to start off with, we need a square document. So we're going to choose File and then New. I'm going to start with a document that's 200 by 200. If you want a larger pattern, just make a larger document, but make it square and make the sides divisible by two. So as long as two will go into a number with nothing left over, so you're using an even number virtually, then that's just fine. And remember what number this is because you're going to need it in a minute. So I am going to just scale up my document here and I'm going to show you the problem with the line tool first of all. Well, the collection of problems because there's a few. Okay, so firstly, when I target the line tool here, I can set up to have no fill, which is fine, and I can set up to have a stroke. I'm going to use a black stroke for my pattern and I'm going to make it 20 pixels. We need to use an even number of pixels, so 20, 40, 16, something like that would be just fine. We're going to use the shape tool now because we can't use the pixels tool because this is one of the problems with this process in Photoshop 2021. Adobe, for reasons better known to them, have removed the option of pixels here, which messes with us big time. So we're going to use shape instead. So we're going to start at the top corner here and we're just going to drag down to create our line which is really great except that that is not a 20 pixel line in my book. Well it is but it doesn't look like it yet. So this is the second way that Adobe broke this feature. So when I click away from the line, you can see that it just doesn't exist in the document and it's certainly not 20 pixels wide. So we're going to need to go to the layers and target the layer, which is this line shape layer. Now, the problem with what Adobe did was it made the line stroke go to the inside of a line. And a line doesn't have dimension, it doesn't have thickness. So the fact that they put the stroke on the inside of the line means basically it's just been swallowed up and it's disappeared into sort of this line. So what we have to do is get it out. So think in terms of alignment. In the properties panel, this is the option you want, this little bar over here. And you can get to it with any shape by selecting a shape tool such as the selection tool here, the direct selection tool, as soon as you target one of those and have a shape layer selected, you get all these tools up on the control bar. So this here is exactly the same as this and we want it one or the other, doesn't matter which. And we're going down here to align. And the first align option is the one that is being used and it's not right. That's why we don't see our stroke. It's the middle one we want. And as soon as we do that, as soon as we select that, you can see that our line now has everything that it's supposed to have in it. So we've solved the problem. Now down here in the properties panel, I am going to change this angle because I do want it to be exactly 45 degrees. I want this line to go perfectly across the document from one corner to the other, and it absolutely must do that. You'll also want your X and Y values to be zero and zero. If you've got that, then everything's going to work out fine. Well, once we solve the other problems that Adobe built into this, and they're just numerous ones. Okay, so we've got our line which has dimension but this is a shape and so what we have to do is break it out of shape or else the next steps are not going to work so we're going to right click here and choose rasterize layer so now we're back to pixels so on the face of it we are back to where we were with the original concept that I had for doing diagonal line patterns in Photoshop when we were able to use the pixels option so we're sort of there except we're not the problem with the way that this Photoshop works is that there are actually pixels over the edge here and they're going to cause us problems in a minute. I'm going to show you why. So we're going to make a duplicate of this line. So I'm just going to layer duplicate layer. You can drag it onto the new layer icon down here. However you make a duplicate layer, just go and make it. So if you don't do the step that I'm about to show you this is what's going to happen and I want you to see what it's going to look like so that you know that you've made a mistake when you make it. Okay, so we're going to go to this top layer and we're going to choose filter other offset. This is how we make our patterns and into this dialog we're going to type half the width and half the height of the document. Now the document I created was 200 by 200. Half of 200 is 100 and half of 
200 for the vertical is 100. Now there are all sorts of problems here. What we should have is a little line here and a little line over here and it's just not working. So our diagonal line pattern is not working at all. I'm just going to cancel out of here. So what we need to do is we need to crop this image. So I'm going to the crop tool, which when you click on it, goes to the outside of the artboard. So this is a 200 by 200 crop because the document is 200 by 200. You have to make sure that you've got delete crop pixels selected. Otherwise, this is just going to fail yet again. So with delete crop pixels selected, you're going to press enter twice. And that's deleted anything that was outside of the document on both these layers. Now let's go and do our filter other offset and the result's going to be very different. Filter other offset. We're going to put in 100 because that's half the width of the document. 100 for half the height of the document and this is what we should get. We should have pixels in the corner because they are the bits that are going to line up with these lines when we make our pattern. It's pretty simple at that point. So what we're going to do is select everything, select all and we're going to choose edit and then go down to define pattern. So this is diagonal line. Before you finish up, you need to test these are going to work. So we'll do file and then new. This time I'm going to create a much larger document. So I'm going to choose something that is actually scrapbook paper size, which is 3600 by 3600 and it would be 300 resolution. But you can make your document however big you like, it doesn't really matter. Okay, the way that we're going to fill it with this pattern is one that's going to allow us to scale it. So I'm going to choose layer, new fill layer, and then pattern, and click OK. Now in previous versions of Photoshop, that would have filled the document with the most recently created pattern. Not so in this version of Photoshop. I really hate this version of Photoshop big time. So what we've got to do is click on this down pointing arrow and go and select the pattern that we just created. At this point you can scale it so you can make it bigger and smaller so you can see more stripes or less stripes on the screen and click OK. And you just want to convince yourself that these lines line up. Now, if you do it the way I showed you just now, it's going to line up perfectly. So let's just go back and recap. We're going to make a line using the shape tool. We have to use the shape tool because we can't use pixels any longer. You're going to have to make sure that you can get the stroke on the line, which is changing that alignment option. You're going to rasterize it, right click and choose rasterize layer. Then you're going to make a duplicate of the layer, you're going to crop it to get rid of the excess pixels that are going to be hanging out from that rasterized shape. That's going to bite you if you don't do it. Then you're just going to go and do your typical filter, other offset, half the width, half the height of the document. Your document should look like this and you're off and running for creating your pattern and then using your pattern. This is really frustrating stuff. They did not need to break these tools the way that they've broken them and they've just broken them in multiple places making it extremely inconvenient. But there's your solution. You can now make diagonal line patterns in Photoshop. Just follow those steps. Before we finish up, I have additional Photoshop training at Skillshare. When you sign up for Skillshare, you'll get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine. In the description below is a Skillshare coupon for you, which is at least as good as the current Skillshare offer, and typically mine will be better. Please feel free to share this coupon with family, friends, and co-workers. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope that you can now make your own diagonal line patterns in Photoshop following these steps. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell, and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. Until next time, and until Adobe breaks something else that we have to solve, my name's Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.